Hi, I'm John Keogh with Upsony LLC. This video accompanies a blog post which discusses how you can have a robot react to an object which has a given color palette that's either coming towards it or going away from it. This is a way to add uh, autonomy to a robot and the, the ability to make a decision about what to do uh, based upon visual input. Uh, the code is relatively compact and I have a link to the blog post which has uh, some source code in it. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, the source is in Objective-C, but the, the general algorithm is, is uh, probably useful for any language. So I have a small robot. It's uh, running, it's being controlled by this uh, iPod with the free iSbot driver software. And I'll go ahead and stick that in there. and uh, I'll go ahead and log in. So uh, this is of course what the robot sees and I've uh, this is uh, something which tells it to react to uh, a given visual stimulus and what we can see is that it doesn't react to for example a, uh, a cup, doesn't react to a potato, but I've set it to react to the color red. So it should react and you can see it uh, it's going backwards and forwards based upon the color red when it's when the box this is a spark fun box when it's out here and it sees it it goes forward and when it's too close it goes uh, backwards and to some extent it can go right or left but uh, that doesn't work all that well. So, uh, basically, the uh, it's over here. This uh, now has a certain degree of autonomy, and it can distinguish objects just based on color palette. So uh, that's it for today. If you want to see uh, the algorithm and uh, some code and a discussion, please visit the blog. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.